Hey, what's up? It's Jeff and Ryan. We're back with the best Wii only game for 2008. Uh, pretty fascinating year for the Wii. You Absolutely. Know? Like, like uh, kind of going in some weird directions, but there's definitely some kind of more traditional games too. For sure. Starting with No More Heroes. I don't know if I'd call that traditional think, at all. I think gameplay I'd call it pretty traditional. But so, this is compared to what else? The other crazy businesses on the Wii. It is a Suda 51 fever dream that you can actually play. Right. Uh, unlike uh, Killer Seven, his other insane. I don't even know what you would call that. That's a it's a meditation on, you know, the human condition. <laughs> uh, no More Heroes, yeah, just purposely ugly in a really interesting way. A ridiculous storyline that's just, it yeah. knows it's absurd. And it's like learning all these it. wrestling moves and pizza butt. Yeah, pizza butt. Pizza butt. That's why it's on the list, pizza, pizza butt. butt. All right, next up, Super Smash Brothers Brawl. Uh, you know, what can really be said? You know, it's like this series has been long running and, and the Wii version really kind of just picks up where the last one left off with uh, some really inventive fighting mechanics, you know, additional characters, and really just that level of fan service you want out of Nintendo. They have this huge legacy, this gigantic catalog of all these ridiculous characters. And, and it seems like almost all of them turn up in some way, shape or form, whether it's as a playable fighter, you know, like Kid Icarus this year, uh, or, or just the different stickers that you're finding and just like, hey, here's Bullet Bill and here's this really obscure guy from F-Zero and that sort of stuff. It's just full of that kind of Nintendo nostalgia that when they get it all together and, and it really works, it really, really works. It's fan service at its finest, uh, like better than yeah. you can get anywhere. And they even you know throw in some non-Nintendo characters. I mean, Solid Snake and Sonic the Hedgehog are yeah. both in this game. And just like Solid, Solid Snake hanging from a helicopter, just shooting a gun at all the other characters. Like finally Pikachu getting what he so richly deserves. Uh, next up on the list is uh, Steven Spielberg's Boom Blocks. You can really tell this is a Steven Spielberg pr production. It's exactly. a lot of you know shots of people looking at other stuff and reacting. Yeah, and uh, you know this is going to be a game. They're going to release it in five years, and they're going to Photoshop out all of the Wii remotes and replace them with walkie talkies. So, <laughs> um, but but really like a, a pretty brilliant and inventive game. Probably one of the the best utilizations of the the, the Wii's unique motion controls that we've seen this year. Yeah, and it's really just about youth throwing or shooting stuff at these towers of these blocks and then you know the physics kicks in you get to see all these towers falling over and, and all of these different games that kind of work with these mechanics of like you know sometimes you want to you know very carefully remove blocks from this tower sometimes you want to blast it apart as quickly as possible and you can go in and make your own levels and do all this different stuff R really inventive really a lot of fun uh, next up, also from Nintendo, Animal Crossing City Folk. This is more Animal Crossing. It's more Animal Crossing. Which, so, hey, hey, Animal Crossing is awesome. That's I'd, right. I'm thrilled to see it, it come into the Wii, uh, bringing in some online play. Uh, and, you know, Tom Nook is back. That's right, Tom Nook is back, and MoFo wants his money. You gotta Tom pay Nook Tom gets Nook. paid. And also they improved the fishing, because they have a fishing-like controller now, so you can, you know. I love to fish. And also Tom Nook. That's right. You, you gotta fish for Tom Nook. <laughs> Uh, and last on our list, Wii Fit. Uh, you know, there's, there's obviously nothing else like Wii Fit out there. Um, you could probably get in shape with it if you also supplemented that with a bunch of other exercise and stuff. And it's set up to track like all your different fitness activities. And this is probably Nintendo's, or really anyone's, uh, most successful attempt to make gaming more than just gaming. It's, it's not just for its own sake. It's like there are reasons to do this beyond just the entertainment value. Uh, and it's been hugely successful, so obviously people are taking to it. It improved my posture.